Hello and welcome to Kelly Loves K-Pop. I'm Kelly. I do K-Pop oriented tarot readings. Um, I've been trying to let you guys know in the last few videos that my request list is getting rather long. It's got about almost a hundred requests, which I am so grateful. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys have been giving the channel. Um, but I do have to let you guys know that I have a coffee account. Um, and if you want your readings to get done sooner rather than later, um, if you donate uh, or, or simply buy a reading through the coffee account, your request will get to the top of the list, right? Um, paid requests will be taken first. So if you want to see your readings get done sooner, you'll have to donate. I, I hate asking you this, but honestly, <laughs> at this point, uh, I will take any reading that is requested in the comments, but it does get put to the bottom of the list. And, and that's just going to be like three, four months from now before it really gets done. I try to do three to four readings a week. Um, that's about all the free time I have. Um, so, you know, you can do the math. Uh, you can always look in the description. My coffee uh, account link will be there. Also, the Tumblr where you can find the request list for um, all the requests that are coming up. You know, you may have a request that's already on the list and that's coming up. So please do check that to make sure you're not just doubling up on a request that's already coming. Um, other than that, thank you for checking out the channel. Today's reading is going to be about Monster X member I am and 17 member uh, Won Wu. Won Wu? Won Wu? I think that's how you say his name. <laughs> um, feel free to correct me in the comments. Uh, I try to be as respectful as possible. Um, but, you know, Korean is not my native language, so I'm still just learning. Um, but we want to know about their friendship. Um, as always with friendship readings, I will do a past, present, future style reading for three cards. And then I'll do a quick um, reading on each person's energy. Today we're using the Moon Child Tarot. And um, I have my Earthbound Oracle on the side in case we need any clarification. Kind of just like having it around lately. Excited to use it. Though Tarot usually gives you plenty of information, so I haven't got a chance to use my Oracle as much as I like. But let's see. Okay. Past, present, future. I am in Wano. Wano. One. We don't want to get confused with one ho. Uh, one who. Let's see. Okay. Um. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So. This is definitely about work. This is about an abundance of work. So in the past. Just kind of tells me that. Um. Due to both of them being extremely busy, they probably don't hang out as much as they want to, right? Um, there's just, there's there's too much work, not enough free time. Um, so that may have been just a hindrance for them in the past. Uh, presently, we have the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is about transition. So, um... Right, the Six of Swords is about um, leaving what doesn't serve you. So they both are probably in a state of change. Change, travel. Um, I don't know how old Wanu is, but I'm guessing if he's around the same age of Chenkin, they're not really doing their military enlistments or anything. But um, I, knew, I do know that they probably lately have been focusing... I mean, before um, the plague happened, um, that they <clears throat> their their groups kind of focus on different markets. Um, I believe, mon especially 2019, uh, 2020, Monsex have been focusing on foreign markets more than in Korea, and I feel like 17 has been very focused on Korea and a little bit of Japan. 
So it could just be that they're constantly doing this, you know, <laughs> that they're just kind of, like I said, they're busy, but now they're not just busy at home. They're like busy in different countries. So that may be another hang up for them as far as um, their friendship. Uh, in the future, it's a magician, magician in reverse. So this is about miscommunication. And it can also be about manipulation. Um, so I don't know if one of them will have someone around them that's kind of like pushing their friends away. Um, but overall, it's, uh, it's, it's a lack of or a mis, uh, miscommunication. So it'll be... I don't know if it'll end up in a kind of fight or or someone is intentionally pitting them against each other but it seems in the future they're gonna have to be very careful um of outside sources affecting their friendship okay so right now they're just in a state of transition i don't see anything that says their friendship is ending it just seems like they're gonna have to be wary about outside influence and miscommunication but overall it seems like they're one of those friendships that's kind of weathered the storm and they may not see each other as often as they like, but it doesn't seem like their friendship is really going to go anywhere. It's not, doesn't look like it's disappearing. I don't get, um, any finality out of these cards. So we'll do a little bit of, um, each guy here and see, see how he's doing. Also, if I didn't say at the beginning, uh, all my tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. I'm not affiliated with any of the groups or idols that I do readings on. It's um, purely my own intuition and opinions. Um, okay, so take everything with a grain of salt. I haven't even said who I'm shuffling for yet, cards. <laughs> so we'll do, um, I am... Um, his personal views of uh, Wanu right now and see how he feels about their friendship at the moment. Okay. All right. So again, we saw that they're in a state of transition. This is currently what the death card is. Hierophant is about an evolution and a learning of where they're going. Knight of Cups. And the Two of Wands. So, <clears throat> they are in a state of transition. They're having to figure out how to proceed. Um, it seems like they're... I want to say like the words like taking things like to the next level, but I don't mean in like their, their friendship. I think this is about, um, because of their, their friendship, maybe like they can't be friends so much in person. Now this is about transitioning, um, and figuring out how they can continue their friendship in another way, whether now they're just FaceTiming, um, the, the seven of cups, in reverse also tells me that there's a little bit of a frustration in how to figure this out. Um, you know, like there's something they have to unlock. There's something um, I am is honestly figuring out for himself, right? Um, of how to proceed. Maybe just figuring out how his emotions, how he feels about where this is going. Again, the Knight of Cups is also about the progress in your emotions and in almost like chasing, like he may feel like he's having to chase uh, Wanu to continue to be his friend. He may feel like he's the one that's putting in a lot of the effort. And I honestly, I've done so many of these readings now <laughs> about I am, I am going to say like, I feel like I am feels this way about a lot of people. And so it may not be always like on the other people. It may be a part of like I am's current situation, um, either because of the traveling or because of his company or just because of his own lack of time or his own um um introvertedness he's not sure like he has to figure out how his relationships with people are going to um proceed due to all the things he has going on in his own life 
Um, I do a lot of monsex reading. They are my favorite group. Um, and I think um, I naturally might attract a few other mom babies to this channel because we love the boys. So, but uh, I do really appreciate 17 as well. So <clears throat> it looks like he does want to proceed. He is chasing it. He is like, this is about having good, uh, strong affection. So he's a little overwhelmed and confused, but overall he still really likes uh, Wanu. Um, but the two of wands is like, whenever he tries to make plans, they, they're falling through, right? He's he's not sure how he's going to make those plans or, or when he does, they, they're just getting canceled. Um, I'm not sure from which side, because it seems like he's chasing. So in I to I am it may appear that he's being can like that one who is canceling on him. But obviously, you know you need both sides to know exactly what's happening. This is just I am's current current perception, uh, for entertainment purposes only, um, of the situation. But he is working through it. Like he definitely wants to figure it out. Um, you know, like you said, he's emotionally chasing. Um, want to, to to make plans that just nothing's working out so he's having to to try to figure out something else and there may be like a person he needs to get through like I don't know if maybe it's like he can't get a hold of one so he's trying to figure out well if I call his friends or if I call his manager or if, you know like um who's the best person to like try to you know make this free time or make these things happen you know um how to find out his schedule how to find out when he's free these kind of things because obviously like there's a lot of inner working parts to these friendships so I feel like uh, I am feels a little shafted a little stunted um but he's trying to figure it out he's trying to figure out a new approach um or a new evolution of their their friendship but he's definitely got good good feelings toward his friend and he's not giving up anytime soon so we will see how Wanu feels if it means anything but the bruno mars lazy song just popped into my head so we're looking at one who's feeling towards i am <laughs> i don't know i just heard bruno mars uh, lazy song which is you know i don't feel like doing anything <laughs> i just want to lay in my bed so i'm not sure if that is relevant but that's what I'm starting to hear. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know what one is going through. Got a lot of swords. not getting answers <clears throat> and maybe why he feels like he's working to change something uh one who's definitely got some hurt feelings here he's definitely got some hurt feelings and i just don't i mean this should be in reference to i am with the swords it makes me feel like there's words like um this feels like it's past but it may be something that happened in the past that, that still affects him. Um, you know, that in, in the justice makes me feel like it's something that was like unfair. Um, so I don't know if maybe he feels like he's being blamed for this when it's not really his fault. Um, or just that he has no control over these things. But he seems very upset. Um, he may not outwardly show it. Um, 
but there's there's definitely some thinking and it could be why i uh i am had the death card because he has to change something um like i said learn a new approach to their friendship and it could be that he he could be a little strong with his words um when it is a cancer it may make him a little more sensitive i am as an aquarius which means like he can be very frank sometimes um, he may not understand the way the weight that his words carry sometimes. Um, but yeah, this, this is about like mentally agonizing over something. Um, you know, the King of Cups means he's emotionally, uh, I want to say unstable, but just upset. He's, he's, he's letting his emotions get the better of him, right? Um, to have the 10 to so the finality and then the ace to start again again we got the death card so this is kind of like um pairing well with that there was something happening in the past um he really felt like it was unfair but he wants to move on but he may be stuck in that moving on because of his emotional state um so him not replying to i am may just be that he needs time right? He needs time to heal from whatever happened, whatever. Um, again, he may feel that he's being blamed for not making time, but it's something that's either he's not in control of, it's something that's unfair. He feels like it's unfair to be um, held accountable for whatever it is. But it does seem like he's trying also to figure this out and to have a new approach because what happened in the past um, isn't working for them. Like whatever they were fighting about or agonizing over, <clears throat> excuse me, really um, is no longer serving a purpose for them. So, so he wants to try um, something and then maybe even like he may feel like he needs to be very clear about what hurt him in the past to move on, to move forward. So it may be something like He's not answering because he's still figuring out how to say what he wants to say um, about what happened in the past that may have hurt him or he felt was like unfair to him. Uh, I'll see if I can see anything about like what might have happened there in the past that he felt wasn't fair. This is funny. This is the card that I uh, always view as uh, the Princess Mononoke, you know, forest spirit. Okay. So it may be unfair. It may feel like, um, oops, this one flew out too. Um, it may feel like he's trying to find a balance between his friends and his family especially like maybe treated unfairly because he had an obligation he had to to do to his family to take care of his family to be with his family he may have very limited free time honestly it feels like 17 probably does have very limited free time so he had to have his priorities in a certain uh way and maybe he feels like he should be vilified or, or hurt for that and and you know he's he's protective about what free what little time he has with his family but he he wants to balance that and the intuition card could tell me that these things he's agonizing over i am maybe hadn't even said he may just be feeling that way like he may be feeling guilty over it you know and some things sometimes you know your friends they don't even have to say it you just could tell right so it may be something like he just sees it without even hearing it he could tell like there's a disappointment but he doesn't feel it's fair so I do think he's gonna eventually talk about it um maybe he's just waiting for the right time to do that so uh that's what I have right now for uh Monster X's I am and 17's uh, one news friendship. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe for more content. Uh, and also, please take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.